That's not even a clover. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to find a four-leaf clover, and I'm gonna show you what's not a four-leaf clover. A little bit of biology, a little bit of the myth. Stay tuned, let's get started. Clover ID. Final offer, $20, if you find a four-leaf clover. You'll take 30, you're gonna negotiate down? <laughs> This is an activity you can do in your own backyard. It's fantastic to do at this time of year during, say, St. Patrick's Day because clovers are out and about, and there is a good probability of finding one that has four leaves. Do you see this? What do you think those are? Do you know what those are? Clovers. Clovers. That's what everybody thinks. But if you think that's a clover, a then you're wrong. Leaf? Okay, so this, this plant right here is actually wood sorrel. Take a little bite of that. Eat it. Crunch it up. What does it taste like? It tastes sour like sour. Um, like a lemon. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It has acid in it, much like lemon. So you can actually take some wood sorrel like this, you can put it in your salad and it's a really yummy treat. But this right here is not clover. It's in the genus Oxalis. Now the way to tell if it's a wood sorrel, they're often heart-shaped leaflets. That's a big indicator. Plus, if you can find the flower, which looks a little bit like this, they are so different. I'll show you the flower of clover later. Plus, if you put them in your mouth, they taste a little bit sour. Okay, now let's go find some clover. Right, come on, boys, follow me. Follow me. All right, here's a big patch. So this is what you're looking for. This is clover. In fact, this is the plant that you'll be looking for four-leaf clovers with. This is called white clover. Trifolium is the genus. Uh, it's a genus that has about 300 different species in it. This one is found all over Europe and Asia, and it's now common in the United States as well. So, as the legend goes, St. Patrick used this to describe the Holy Trinity. So, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, right? So there's three. Yeah. Normally this has three, but every once in a while it has four. They say out of um, 5,000 of them, you can find about one. So the ratio is not high, but in a giant patch of clover, you might be able to find one that has four leaves. And it's in their genetics, so that's what we're gonna look for right now. Whoa. This is a huge patch. Oh, Let's see if we can find too. the flower, too. Can't find the flower, but this is a really good example. Oh, I found one. Four leaf clover. No. Oh, you taped the texture leaf onto it. Look, look at that. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh, classic August. Classic. One, two, three. Classic. Classic. Four. Ooh, you gotta look carefully. Uh, so these things actually can fix nitrogen, which means they can grow in soil that doesn't have a lot of nitrogen. The whole nitrogen fixing thing, you can actually pull up the plant and look at the roots and this little white part right here, you'll find these all in here. And these are actually groups of bacteria that fix the nitrogen in the soil so that it can be taken up and used by the plant. That's what they look like. You can just pull them right up and see it. Oh, that's the flower. That's the flower. I found, I found, yeah. Yeah, this, this is I what clover. I find them growing. Leo, no, see no. if you can find it too. Oh, here's one. There's no, so no, many Dad. This is what the flower Daddy. of clover looks like. It's only about one in every 5,000 or one in every 10,000 that has four leaves. Ooh, that one's But this is, this is why it's a treasure hunt. And almost everybody can do this in their backyard. We have yet to find our four leaf clover, but we're gonna keep looking. Turns out it's in the genetics, so people have selected for four leaf clover. So you can actually go to the store, you can go online, and you can buy four leafed clovers, which is pretty cool. So I hope you can find some in your own backyard, but if not, go buy some. Thank you everyone for watching that little short about four leaf clovers and how you can find them. It's just little tidbits like this, biology you can do in your own backyard that I wanna share going forward here with Stone Age Man, uh, especially now, because this is when COVID-19 is spreading around. We are stuck in our home, in our own backyards, but there's a lot you can do, a lot you can learn. So hit that notification bell if you want to see more like this, because we're going to be doing it occasionally week to week. And stay okay. tuned as we keep putting them out. Maybe you can watch some Stone Age Man here. Okay. Also, okay. big thanks to my patrons for helping me put out this content that is essentially free for everyone to consume. See you later. Did you find a four leaf?